Okay, happy Wednesday. Good morning, PSW staff, clients, and friends. Join us for uh, Wednesday. Uh, we're going to take a look at another musical that, uh, personally, one of my favorites. It's just, it's lovely. Um, we'll talk about the social context a little bit and about, well, you know, we'll get into it. Yesterday we looked at uh, your film's going to assignment, uh, Trip to the Moon, Georges Millet. Um, that's going to be fun. So make it make it fun. It, it's a silent film, so really the score can be anything. I was looking at other other uh, scores that people, have, uh, the French duo group um, Air, they did their own little score to it, and that's French pop music. So um, you know we'll have fun with it. So today is the the deadline. Uh, today by noon, and then we'll see the results for Friday. Okay. Um, so we've we've had a lot of fun looking at different musicals and just you know kind of sharing some of my the classic ones the ones that um, that mean a lot to me mostly because of the songs the songs are so good I probably wouldn't be talking about a lot of these because sometimes the plots are a little bit uh, um, a little old fashioned which is okay but sometimes old fashioned is out of date and do things age well in particular this musical has some problems with it uh, people have problems with this musical because of the subject matter but um do you want to just guess or why don't i just tell you what i'm talking about uh today we're going to look at the 1958 musical film Gigi. <laughs> Gigi's an American musical, romantic comedy, directed by Vincent uh, Minnelli. Minnelli's famous, uh, being a great director, Meet Me in St. Louis, uh, great, uh, you know, corny, but a little bit. That's where he, he meets and marries Judy Garland, um, from 45 till 51. And of course, they're the parents of Liza Minnelli. Uh, so he did that. He did American in Paris in 1951, uh, The Bandwagon, and then Gigi. And, a really prolific director, a lot, a lot of great stuff. Um, based on Colette's novella, um, Colette is, this was in 1944, her novella came out, and um, this was really good at the Academy Awards. It, 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 at the 31st Academy Awards, it, it won all nine of its nominations, including Best Picture and Best Director. Um, uh, a record until Lord of the Rings and Return of the King, actually. So very successful. Um, and then the music is by uh, Lerner and Lowe. We, we haven't talked about Lerner and Lowe, but Frederick Lowe, uh, German uh, composer, songwriter, and Alan J. Lerner, uh, lyricist and screenwriter. He wrote the screenplay to this and arranged and conducted this, this score uh, by Andre Previn, another great conductor, um, pianist, Super, super talented guy. So I guess I'm in a French mood because yesterday we were in Paris, outside of Paris, to uh, to look at a trip to the moon. So, and they filmed mostly all of this on location in Paris. So um, maybe that's also what makes it special. I mean, the costumes and the, the, the sets and the dialogue is witty. It's it's really beautiful. Um, so let's go, let's go from Hollywood. Let's go there to Paris. Thank heaven for little girls. Four little girls get bigger every day. Thank heaven, four little girls. They grow up in the most delightful way. Those little eyes, so helpless and appealing. One day will flash and send you crashing through the ceiling. Thank heaven, four little girls. Thank heaven for them all, no matter where, no matter who. Without them, what would little boys do? Of course, it stars the lovely Leslie Caron as Gigi. Um, and, you know, it's based on, you know, she's trained, training to be a courtesan. Her grandmama uh, is... Uh, is friends with Gaston, Louis Jordan, who just passed away. And Leslie Caron's 90, she's still alive. Um, 
and uh, he's friends with her and he comes and spends time with her and he notices her granddaughter Gigi uh, gradually goes through a series of different relationships with women and um, you know at the end discovers that he's been in love with Gigi the whole time and I, I, I think she's in love with him too um, so it begins a platonic relationship and then it ends up you know romantic um, so part of the dis part of the you know taboo of, of this of course is the age difference and him kind of you know he didn't raise her but he was around of you know her growing up and uh, you know a lot of people have said that this is a creepy movie I don't really want to get into moralizing our job is in this class is not really to create moral judgments it's to look at art and to examine it and to and to look at it based on you know history and, and all these things that have made it important for us to look at it's not it's not our place to moralize it that's kind of what I want to say about that. The river sand, all it can do is flow. But think of wine. It's red or white. But think of girls. It's either yes or no. And if it's no or if it's yes, it simply couldn't matter less. But think of a race with your horse in seventh place. Then he suddenly begins and he catches up and wins with a roar. It's a ball. Life is thrilling as can be. Simply not my cup of tea. It's a gay romantic fling. If you like that sort of thing. It's intriguing. It's fatiguing. It's a game. It's and this is game. this is a work of art. I mean, it, it, had it not been for all the great songs in this, I probably wouldn't be talking about it. So it, it's uh, subjective, of course, but some of the songs are just so beautiful in this. So Leslie Caron was 27 in this, um, but in, in the in the novel, Gigi's 16 and Gaston's 33, but she's 27, um, Louis Jordan is 37, um, and uh, you know, I mean, it's it's so great when they go to Paris, uh, you know, Maxim's, and they shoot that it's a very hard scene because there's mirrors everywhere, and it's just, uh, this song is one of my, my most favorites. She's a lovable one tonight, isn't she? What is she up to? She's so gay tonight. She's like spring tonight. She's a rollicking, frolicking thing tonight. So disarming, soft and charming. She is not thinking of me. No, she's not thinking of me. In her eyes tonight, there's a glow tonight. They're so bright they could light and blow tonight. She's so gracious, so vivacious. She is not thinking of me. Bless her little heart. Crooked to the core. Acting out a part. What a rollicking, frolicking ball. She's such fun tonight. She's a treat tonight. You could spread her on bread. She's so sweet tonight. So devoted, sugar-coated, that it's hard warming to see oh she's simmering with love oh she's shimmering with love oh she's not thinking of me i love that he's speaking uh you know his thoughts aloud uh i think it's just so funny i mean his expressions are so great they in incorporate kind of some french music huh like i mean you can kind of it's it's period i mean this takes place in la belle époque the age of beauty in paris when everything was just fabulous, you know, just the, and we've talked a lot about Paris and this kind of, you know, with artists and filmmakers and musicians and songwriters, 
uh, the birth of all this stuff like going on. So exciting. The night they invented champagne. It's plain as it can be. They, they thought, thought of you, you and me. me. The night they invented champagne. champagne. They, they absolutely knew that all, all we want, want to do is fly to the sky on champagne and shout to everyone in sight. So that's just a little taste. I, I just wanted to share, you know, my some of my favorite scenes and songs from this movie. Hope you enjoyed Gigi. Um, I had a short week, so tomorrow we'll go back to LA and look at a, another famous hotel, and that should be fun. Okay. Uh, love you, miss you, and I'll uh, see you tomorrow. Bye.